So here we have a 2017 Vauxhall Astra with a 1.6 four-cylinder diesel engine and we have a 2014 Toyota Aorus with a 1.8 petrol hybrid engine. Both of these cars have high thermal efficient engines. Both of these cars are around 135 brake horsepower. But Toyota and Vauxhall have gone about achieving fuel efficiency in two very different ways. The Vauxhall has gone down the traditional compression ignition route, otherwise known as a diesel. The Toyota has combined the spark ignition engine, a petrol, with electrification. Back in 2014, Toyota called this powertrain Hybrid Synergy. Vauxhall were also very proud of their 1.6 diesel engine, nicknaming it the Whisper engine because of its low friction internals. My brother and I have been testing these two vehicles over a number of days to test real world acceleration and real world miles per gallon. Two acceleration tests, a 0 to 60 and a 30 to 70. Two miles per gallon tests, one in city driving for an hour and one in the motorway for an 80 mile round trip. I'm testing two older cars here, a 10 year old hybrid and a 7 year old diesel. I want to see how much age affects battery degradation on the hybrid and whether the hybrid is a good buy second hand or whether the performance and miles per gallon deteriorates quicker than its diesel counterparts. Let's start with the acceleration tests and my favourite the Note to 60. Now let's try the 30 to 70 acceleration test. Now let's start the MPG test with motorway driving. For the motorway mile per gallon test, we both filled up early on a Sunday morning when traffic was light, and the idea was to do 70 mile an hour using cruise control as much as possible. Well I've got 7 out of 8 bars available to use for my journey. Using cruise control would eliminate driver error, perhaps when applying too much throttle going uphill and vice versa when coming downhill. We picked Durham Bowburn Services because it's right next to the motorway. We brimmed our tanks before the test, reset the ECU MPG, which will compare to the actual MPG when we fill up later. We drove for 40 miles 
and made the return journey, activating cruise control as soon as we could. The only fly in the test was that there was a stretch of 50 mile an hour roadworks, but as this was a comparison test, this didn't affect the overall MPG as both cars were driving in tandem. Most of the time in the 50 mile an hour roadworks, we were actually doing close to 50 miles an hour with the cruise control on. At the end of the test, we returned to exactly the same fuel pump and filled it up again, brimming the tank once more. In this way, finding out how much fuel we used on the 80 mile round trip. 715, 6.13 for that. For the next miles per gallon test, we went to Darlington on a Saturday afternoon for some busy city driving, including lots of stop start driving, lots of traffic lights, roundabouts, junctions and speed bumps. We picked a suitable fuel station which we would return to and we brimmed our tanks. Again, when we got to 30 mile an hour, we would use the cruise control where we could as much as possible to eliminate driver capability. After an hour of city driving, we returned to the same fuel station and brimmed our tanks to see how much fuel we'd used in the mileage that we had done. In conclusion, we can see that although the diesel Astra did not have a regenerative hybrid powertrain like the hybrid Aorus or stop start like the Aorus, the diesel Astra still used less fuel than the Aorus hybrid for the same distance in city driving. Before starting this test, I assumed that the hybrid would have used less fuel for the city MPG test. But the diesel Astra used 18% less fuel than the petrol hybrid. Another conclusion was that the diesel Astra used less fuel than the hybrid Aorus on the motorway. That was not so surprising. For the motorway MPG test, the diesel was 16.6% more efficient than the petrol hybrid. I was surprised at how efficient the hybrid Aorus was at motorway speeds, where it doesn't tap into the battery for propulsion. No doubt in part to the thermal efficiency of the Atkinson petrol engine, but also the high gearing once it settled down to 70 mile an hour. I found the onboard miles per gallon of each of these cars to be quite optimistic. For the motorway test, the diesel Astra showed an average MPG of 84.7, compared to the actual brim to brim miles per gallon of 63.3. .3. Also, the hybrid hour showed an average 70.1 miles per gallon for the city test, compared to the actual figure, which was 47.2. This shows that you should only look at the onboard ECU MPG as an estimate figure of what you're likely to achieve. And you should rely on your own calculations for a more accurate miles per gallon figure. From our acceleration test today, we can see that although both cars have 135 brake horsepower, the extra torque that the diesel engine produces translates into 22% better acceleration time for both the stand and start note of 60 and the roll and start 30 to 70. Even though the hybrid gives you instant acceleration when you hit the throttle, once the turbo on the diesel is wound up, it pulls like a train. We can see also from our real world tests that having a turbocharged car doesn't hinder fuel efficiency either. No doubt thanks to the low friction internals of the Whisper engine. As regards battery degradation, the 10 second 0-60 time is the same 0-60 time as the 2023 Corolla, which I tested last year, which uses the same powertrain. It seems that as this is a low mileage Aorus, these hybrid batteries do not degrade with age, but work more with mileage. So if you can find a low mileage old hybrid that has full Toyota service history like this Aorus, there should be no doubt as to whether the hybrid system is still working as it should. There are other things to consider when buying a used diesel over a used hybrid however, such as reliability and insurance. But for our real world test, diesel is more efficient in the way it delivers its power to the wheels than the petrol hybrid. I hope you found this video useful, or at least learned something you didn't know before. Let us know your experience in the comments if you prefer hybrid or diesel more.